So to me, the question, how do you start building a STEM culture in your, in your school and in your community is, is an important question because it's such a big question. Um, schools are big, um, kids go from little to big, and, and, and I want those kids to be able to have big dreams and big hopes and big ideas and big possibilities. But as we think about that, we might, we might kind of take a look at like this gigantic oak tree out in front of my school and say, that is what I want. I want something big and impressive. But it didn't start big and impressive. And if you want to start adding that STEM culture in your classroom, in your community, we can't start with the end product. We can't start with an already grown, mature, uh, giant oak tree. We need to think about all those little steps that are going to get us to that giant oak tree. We need to think about all those steps that are going to help to build that STEM culture in our classroom and help those kids to think outside of just our classroom, to think to their community, what is relevant to their community, and then also to think what is possible. I want those kids to have big dreams, big hopes, big ideas of things that they can do as they grow up and, and, and enter into this world of possibilities. So as you refine and as you reflect, uh, think about that. Don't think about what you want to be at the end so much, uh, but think about the steps you're going to need to take to get there. And then that end point is going to happen as you build that STEM culture.